the big news this past weekend was Jaquaski Tart signing a modest one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles, who are clearly all in. They are making the, you know, one-year veteran signings trades that you would expect the Niners to make because they were in the playoffs last year. Do you think the Niners will regret letting Tart walk? Um, I think the, yeah, I do actually. I, I think just because of depth or lack of depth at that position, they're a pretty deep football team at running back. They're a really deep football team on the D line. They're a relatively thin football team when it comes to strong safety or free safety for that matter, just the safety spot either, either way. So, yeah, I, I think uh, the Niners may regret letting Tart walk because Tart knew their system. Tart did a lot of good things on the football field. He's not a productive interceptor of the football, but he did a lot of positive things and, I think they're going to I think they they would like to have that quality depth. And I think, you know, that we'll, we'll see if a and Ward, Jimmy Ward can stay healthy. But uh, they lost a player they knew they could they could lean on and have leaned on. And I just I wanted to push back on the people who are like, hey, Tart Tart makes that interception. They go to the bowl. I mean, uh, I don't I disagree with that wholeheartedly. And I and it seems like it's now like kind of urban urban myth that if he had made that interception that the game was over the game was not over and that would it would have helped but it wouldn't have hardly locked it up yeah uh agree there was there was a lot of time left and the uh the Niners defense wasn't stopping anything from there on out um I don't understand why they let him go he wasn't expensive he basically signed like very little a one-year deal it seems like he could have been their top backup at both spots now it's possible Tart didn't want to do that that he would rather go be a backup in Philly or compete for a starting spot there than be a fungus. Maybe it was as simple as he didn't want to come back here. But if that's the case, okay, I guess the Niners, nothing the Niners can do. Otherwise, it seemed like he could have been a really cheap, good backup for them. Well, I'm okay, most teams keep four safeties, and they're going to keep Jimmy Ward and Hafanga, and they're going to keep George Odom for sure um, as a special teamer. So, really, you ha- would have had Tart, Tarvarius Moore, and you know your undrafted free agents, guys like Leon O'Neill and Taylor Hawkins, probably all competing for maybe one safety backup spot. So it's you know. It was going to be tough sledding. Maybe they didn't want to get his hopes up and then see him cut and have nothing at, you know, in late July. But puts an awful lot on uh, on Hafanga. Yeah. Hafanga's got to work out. He's got to play yeah. well. And he's got to play 17 games. Same with Jimmy Ward. I mean, if they're if the Niners are in a spot where they're starting George Odom, they're going to regret letting Jaquaski Tart walk. They're going to miss. That's him. the one player I don't know what to expect because yeah. I've heard people tell me, oh yeah, he can play from scrimmage, and then um, and he's a Pro Bowl special teamer but we'll see we'll see because I, I get my my doubts from scrimmage I, I'm just worried about him and and Hathunga. they have no very little experience playing safety in the NFL yeah. are they going to be giving up big plays because Tart I mean I know you always wanted him to make more plays but to his credit he didn't give them up often so good a solid yeah. football player knew your system and was good against the run and could move well against the pass he just didn't catch interceptions 